Hi, welcome to this session of understanding how the track is used in combination with an opto isolator and particularly a LED and DAC combination opto isolator. They are termed as MOC3020, 3021 and several other numbers and they are non-ZVS type opto. Non-ZVS type opto means it can switch on not at the zero but anywhere the triggering is made. We will see that with this kind of arrangements. We have a supply here and then we have a lamp here, we have a dry cure, all of them are in series. The gate is connected in this fashion from the direct combination of the opto isolator and we know that the supply the track can conduct only when the gate is triggered. Triggered means the current has to flow in the gate and M1 circuit. This is M1 and this is M2 or we call it sometimes A2 and A1 of, of the track. That means now supposing for example we will just see as to how it works that when this side becomes say positive the supply goes this way in the positive half cycle is go this way it cannot go this way it goes this and then enters and then it conducts only if the light is falling on this let's assume that the light is falling on this so it goes this way and then enters the gate comes out at the m1 terminal passes through this lamp and then reaches here and that is how the path in the gate and m1 is complete once the path between gate and m1 is complete the current starts flowing but for that positive half cycle straight this way for that positive half cycle and for the negative half cycle the similar so it now this is negative it goes this way enters the m1 comes out of the gate goes this way and then conducts if it is light is falling on this and goes this way it cannot go this way it goes back to the source and only then this conducts directly like this so in positive half cycle it conducts this way and the negative half cycle it conducts this way this is how the load is switched on in both the cycles in both the half cycles because the triggering takes place in each and every half cycle and from an opto how it works we will see now when we switch on this we will take the CRO down and we will see and when we switch on this you can see the arrow mark and this is in the zero now and once we make it one we find the lamp starts glowing the lamp starts glowing of course in a little erratic way because of the simulation problems and we can see the arrow in direction in which the current is flowing and the lamp is glowing because we have given a logic one a logic one means this current flows through the LED and since it is continuously flowing through the LED if you could see the waveform we get the output full sine wave and this is my the voltage which I have given if you see the ground of this particular voltage this is the level and I'm giving almost 5 volts 1 this is 0 so 1 2 3 4 5 if I give 5 volts if I give 5 volts then the LED glows inside and that is how it works and if I make it a 0 the lamp stops even if the supply is available the gate current can still flow but the main current you find it is not flowing the only the gate current is flowing but the main current is not able to flow it's just because uh, so the, the gate current is also not flowing though it is showing like this the gate current is uh, the main current cannot flow because the gate current is not flowing in simulation you might be seeing something like this but actually the gate current is not flowing because this uh, this circuit this path is open once this path is open the gate circuit cannot be completed in the process the lamp doesn't glow and when the, only when I make it 1 you see the lamp starts glowing and the supply voltage is full if I make it 0 the output is 0 if I make it 1 the output is full this is what is what we can see in the CRO and once we go over to supposing a delayed firing angle we, we give a delayed firing angle let's see in this position we bring it to this position where I'm giving a delayed firing angle in a delayed firing angle situation what we can see that uh, in this situation I find this is my waveform and the lamp is still glowing and this is my waveform how it works we will see the working principle is now let's analyze this way 
okay now this is the 5 volt pulse that you find which is coming from the uh, the LED, LED uh, this opto LED is glowing only for this much of time the opto LED is only glowing for this much of time and this much of time it is off so the main supply for example when the main supply let's go over this way again now when this becomes a positive it goes this way and it cannot pass this way to complete the circuit goes this way this way it conducts only after 5 milliseconds that means from here to here it are 5 milliseconds and uh, the uh, from here from here to here the LED is off you can see the LED is off because the LED is off because the LED is off it comes and stays here wait till the LED is on the LED is on only after 5 milliseconds because the LED is on after 5 milliseconds the triggering takes place after 5 milliseconds because the triggering takes place for this positive half cycle after 5 milliseconds and that is how the current flows this way and you get the positive half cycle like this for the negative half cycle also in the similar way the, the pulse comes after 5 milliseconds so when the negative half cycle this goes this way this way this way and waits here because the light is still not falling the light is falling after 5 milliseconds after that this goes this way and the path is complete once the triggering path is complete the main path flows and that's how the lamp glows and we get the waveform of this nature as you can see this is the type of waveform that we see and so the basic purpose of this particular video is to understand that how the MOC3020 series or MOC3021 series opto isolators are used either directly from the logic gates where of course you will not have any control over the uh, gate current it's just because it any time the supply comes it, it switches on but if you switch over from this particular IC to a pre, uh, another IC which is called MOC3060 3063 they are zero voltage type and you will get always zero voltage switching so that is the biggest advantage of using opto isolator from the same the triggering takes place from the same source it's not that we need any other source compared to pulse transformer concept where this is an, a better solution because this is an optical isolation as compared to uh, the pulse transformer isolation. you can see this this side is completely isolated where this is completely isolated this is AC side this AC side is completely isolated and that is how this gives the best advantage as far as the using opto isolator for such situation thank you